<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the last comedian of the evening. Please show my man a lot of love. The brother is legit. From last comic standing, Mike Gaffney, y'all. <laughs> Nice. More, more. That was nice. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys are great, man. You're a great crowd, great crowd, man. Just a little bit about me. I'm a single dad. I uh, raised two teenagers by myself. About nine years ago, I went and had a big custody battle with their mom, and they've been with me ever since. So apparently, I won. <laughs> Does it feel like a win? I'm going to be honest with you. Kind of feels like she won on that one. Here's something the judge tried to tell me. Full custody means every day. I don't know if you know that. Every day. They come home every day around 3.45. They'll just be there. It's like, seriously? They're always home. Sometimes they're late. Then I get excited. Like, yes, they're missing. They're never missing. Oh, they suck. People usually say that when I say they suck. They're like, oh, my God. Do you talk about your children like that? It's like, do you have kids? No, I don't have kids, but I am an aunt. You can't identify with a parent when you're an aunt, you asshead. <laughs> That's like me trying to relate to somebody who went to war. Like, you went to war, bro? Nah, I didn't go to war, but I played Call of Duty every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, I've seen some shit, bro! <laughs> they suck. They suck. It's just me and them. Just me and them. My son is 16, my daughter's 17. It's just me and them. I've been single for a long time, too. Just me. I've been single since my son is one and my daughter's two. Single the whole time. The reason why, a couple of reasons. One, when they were younger, I didn't think it was fair to subject them to like random women. I didn't want to do that to my kids. But now that they're older, I don't think it's fair to some random woman <laughs> to subject them to these two assholes. So, I'm going to be alone. I'm going to be alone for a long time. I do online dating, that's how I do it. 30 bucks a month, you know what I've learned? Nobody likes me. Uh, no, that, yeah, that comes out every month. I don't even gotta go on for that. That was a hurtful laugh, assholes, thank you. You're like, ha, 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 he's single, he's lonely. Very optimistic when I sign on too, bro. I'm very optimistic, very hopeful. I fill out every goddamn question, bro, every question. My shit's always 100%. You know how they say, are you 80? Not me, I'm 100 goddamn percent. I even answered a question that's so hard, like, what do you like to do for fun? How? Huh? It's not like, don't you panic? I just sit home and wait for emails. Which is true, but that's sad. You can't put that. It's like makeup shit, like, I like movies. <laughs> I like to walk. I pick a mile, you know, you go like a radius. I go 10 miles, bro. What am I, checking all over the globe? If I'm gonna fall in love, she's gonna be from my neighborhood. I picked three nationalities. There's like 12. I picked three. I'm not the UN, bro. Can't be banging them all out. I focus on three. Until I get no returns on my email, then I'm like, what's 4,900 miles for love? What, I'm not gonna go to Utah? Seriously? I pick every nationality. There's a spot in the nationality that says other. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. But that's my girl. That's where she's at, right there. That's my girl. That's gonna be an exciting first date. An other date? What the hell's gonna show up? Three legs, a half eyeball. Like, what the fuck is that? What is that? Damn, that is a small island. He caught it. That's not a, that's not a nationality. 46-year-old women. 46-year-old women will answer the profile. Do you have children? No. Do you want children? Someday. Oh, uh, you're 46. Do you mean like Wednesday? What the fuck are you talking about? How fast you think online dating works. Good luck with that. I'm not being an asshole either. Like, if you want to date with me and you're like, so what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, I want to be a Yankee. Yeah. A New York Yankee? Yeah. Uh, can we get a check? He's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> girls will put in their profile, they'll put in their profile. This is what they'll put. Uh, I love to laugh and have fun. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! So crazy! Okay, you think we could do it all in one night? You think we'd be able to jam it in? No, the laughing and the fun. You think we'd be able to do it? Fucking asshole. Everybody likes laughing and fun. What miserable bits? Like, I hate laughing. I hate fun. Ah! I never get any emails. One girl put in her profile. She put in bold capital letters. Star, star, star. No liars. Star, star, star. I'm freaking serious right now. 
Like, if you're a liar, don't even. Don't even try, because I'm not. Really, that's your high-tech security system right there. <laughs> like some lion sacks, like, I'm going to bang this. Ah, son of a bitch. Nah, she's got a no liars clause. Nah, she was thinking ahead, bro. So smart. That's like putting a sign in front of your house that says you don't like to be robbed. <laughs> and leaving all your windows. Yo, Billy, the window's open. Hold up. Nah, they got a sign. Go to the next house. Yo, don't be rude. Girl, put first date ideas. I don't care where we meet, as long as it's in a safe public place. No, what kind of creepy ass emails are you getting? Yo, you want to meet in the cave? Just, you don't got to go on that date. Unless he's good looking, then he can get away with it. Isn't it amazing how good looking dudes can never be creepy? Me, I got to fucking walk a line. Everything I say has got to rhyme. There's got to be like a butterfly involved or some shit. You're a good looking guy. You say whatever the hell you want. You'd be like, yo, you want to meet in the caves? She's like, caves are nice. Uh, no, they're not bad on a Saturday. Yes, yeah, Dude, it's not easy dating at all, period. It's not easy when, you, when you're just dating. It's, you know what? It's hard introducing your freak, right? On your first couple of dates. You can't just talk about shit. When I was 17, I'll tell you why. When I was 17, I was, I was having sex with my high school librarian. She was nine years older. She was well experienced. I was 17, so I was very, you know, simple. Very, meh, very basic. She was experienced, so one day we were having sex. She took her, she took her finger and right in the butt. Uh, Dude, that was just alarming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even know it was an option. Like, we're using that? Get the hell out of here. We're using that? That's available? I didn't even know it was available. You don't talk about this shit when you're a teenager. It's not like your friend's like, yo, dude, when you have sex with a girl, she can put her finger. Like, I'll punch her in her face. She snuck it in. Like my mom, like my mom did with spinach. Like, under the meat. You're like, she wanted me. You know what I mean? Your mom wanted you to get a little vegetable. She put it under. You know what I mean? Like, that's how she did. She snuck it in. But I love spinach now. It's like all spinach. I don't even, you don't even need meat. I'll just put all the spinach up there. All the spinach. So I'm still talking about vegetables, you know, right? It's hard though, bringing that up. You can't bring that freak up. You try to bring that shit up in the first date. Like I've tried so many ways. It's hard. But I'm so glad I learned about it when I was 17. I would have hated to go 30 years. Find out when I'm 40, how awesome that is back there. That's like having a car for you know, 30 years and not knowing you had a sunroof. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? I had a sunroof the whole time? I love my sunroof. But it's hard to bring it up. It's hard to bring it up. It's hard to bring up, you know, the, to girls. It's just hard. It's hard as a guy. I've tried many ways. Here's a way that doesn't work. Hey, when you're making love, what do you do with your fingers? You doing math? You're not like adding random numbers, right? Well, then chuck them in my butt. Uh, it's awkward. That's an awkward first date, bro. It's awkward. It's weird. It's weird. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little weird. But how come that, that gets, that's creepy, right? A guy says that shit's creepy. Why? Why can women never be creepy? What, women can never be creepy. They can be freaky. Like, you can be like, what the fuck? That bitch is freaky as hell. But she can never creep you out, bro. She can never say anything that makes you like, ugh. Right? Like, if she was to come up to me and, like, listen, when we're making love, I need you to take a brick, smash a cockroach then cover the brick with mayonnaise and then rub my body with a brick. I'd be like, oh shit, should I take a brick from the wall? Or do you like already have a brick on the side that you use? No, I don't want to mess your house up. Maybe you have a brick in the drawer that you always use. See, not creepy, right? Right, you wouldn't be like, dude, but if I say anything about that down there, you're like, eh. <laughs> like, say, like, hey, what about the butt? You're like, ew, I know, ew, nasty, right? <laughs> <laughs> but when that shit happened when I was a kid, I called my friend up and I was like, yo, dude, this girl put her, her finger on my butt. <laughs> he was like, yo, that's gay. <laughs> no, no, a girl did it. Uh, I don't want your finger in my butt. <laughs> I don't care if it's gay, I'll be able to float tomorrow. <laughs> with my shirt, like, whoop, whoop. I don't give a shit, bro. It's awesome. High five, Buckeye. High five. All right, listen, man. You guys are great. My name is Mike Gaffney. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.